All right, so here's the drywall mud. Um, the way we're gonna mix this here is with the mixing bit uh, and some water. You can see this is already loosened up from uh, prior use, from the last time I uh, was messing with it. But uh, the last time I messed with it, I didn't have a mixing bit. I couldn't find the one that I had, so I had to buy a new one. Good thing is only like six bucks. Um, so we're gonna mix some stuff up and it's enough to where I could pour it in a pan and I'm gonna try to match the texture with a uh, roll-on paintbrush and uh, we'll roll it on, make it simple and quick and easy hopefully. Nope, oh, that loosened up. Alrighty, so I threw some water in there. Uh, so that way it makes up a little bit better. Loosen it up some to make it uh, to where I can pour it into the pan so I can roll it on. Um, so it makes it easier that way. And then you don't have a bunch of thick mud just going on the wall. Hopefully it'll give it that runny look that's already on there. Alrighty, there's the first pass right there. That's gonna match up pretty good. Here's the mud right here. I'm just gonna put some on there and roll some on there. And that looks like what they pretty much did for the rest of it. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna go with. I was almost worried that it wasn't thin enough, but it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm not a big fan of texture, but it does hide shitty drywall work. But like I said before, it's just my little man cave slash office going to be anyway. So it's not going to bug me if uh, I see it. Once it's painted and everything, it's going to look a lot better. But uh, yeah, there's an easy way to texture. Um, if you're trying to match something like this, then I would uh, do what I'm doing here. Just loosen up some of the mud with some uh, water and then mix it up and roll it on. Go ahead. 
turn it. As I got everything cut in, I'll be ready to uh, roll on the rest of the paint. I think it's going to look really good with the green on there. So what you saw was me starting it and I didn't want to bore you guys to death with uh, me just cutting in corners. So I'm going to roll the rest of this in and then uh, we're going to take a look at it. See how it looks. I think it's going to look good. Um, so yeah, making progress finally. Alright, let's roll some of this on. Start up at the top. All right, yeah, it's going to look good. Burp. You gonna come help me? Huh? You wanna come help me? Here, bud. Don't mess with it. Here, stand up. Stand up. You wanna help? You wanna help? It's heavy. Good job. Good job, bud. Eat? Alright, I'll make you something to eat here in a second, buddy, okay? I know. I know you ain't that freaking hungry, though. You ate like 10 apples. But that's okay. We'll make you something, okay? You're going through a growth spurt again, aren't you? Don't stick your hand in there. Hold on. I know you're getting an idea of sticking your hands in there, ain't you? It's very tempting. No, no, don't get inside. Don't get in the paint. Don't get in the paint. Watch out. Watch out, buddy.
Okay, hold on, let me get something. I know, you're hungry. One second. Don't put your foot in there, please. Okay, let's make you something to eat. You hungry? Eat? No. Yeah, I see you. No. I see you going to stick your hand in there. Who's that guy? Look, Chevy. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, I don't need it everywhere. I don't need it everywhere. That was a close call right there. That was a very close call. I'm going to get him something to eat so that way he's satisfied so that way I can keep painting. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Just got done painting um, yesterday. I went ahead and let it dry so that way it looked a little better, but uh, it is definitely green. Bam. Looks a lot better in here with the walls fully painted instead of that stuff that was on there. Um, you can still, you know, kind of tell where the um, lines are right there from the drywall. Um, that's just from uh, poor taping, and that was already taped before I even um, got here into this house. Um, what happens is that with paper tape, you're supposed to put a little bit of mud down first, and then you press your your tape on onto the wet mud and uh, if you put too much that's what happens it'll hump up like that uh, when I was sanding it when I first sanded it I was getting down to the tape there's nothing I could do about it without uh, ripping everything out and I didn't feel like ripping everything out because I'm gonna have some future plans anyways um, later on in the future I'll probably go up to about that four foot mark and uh, cut it all the way around and do some sheet metal, some uh, corrugated sheet metal um, that they use for uh, roofing, you know, do something like that. Um, that's future wise, but it didn't hurt, you know, just to go over it for right now. Um, so, here's what it looks like. It looks a lot better than what it did. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Got her painted, got something done over the weekend at least. Um, I'm still in search of a vehicle. Um, I found uh, one um, that I went and looked at yesterday that was uh, in Paducah and I didn't like it so I didn't buy it um, just it was too beat up for my liking um, if I was looking for a work truck I you know probably would have offered them something but I need a daily driver um, something that's gonna get me back and forth I do have a co-worker that set me up with her cousin that's selling his truck and it's fairly decent. It's got a little rust on the truck bed and at the bottom, but that's common out here. And for the price he's wanting, it's it's a fair price. So I'm probably going to go check that out later today. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted, but here is the room. I like it a lot better with the green. My camera's kind of having trouble focusing. But um, yeah, there's a few spots. I think I might actually do a second coat because I went over this like a couple times with the wet paint. And it was still kind of coming off um, on the on the ridges of the texture, so I might hit it again with some paint. Um, more than likely, uh, I do gotta get some more rollers. So before I do that, I gotta get uh, some more rollers. Um, I hate having to try to save rollers, you know, unless I'm was actually on a job site and I was painting a, a whole bunch, then I'd save save them, you know. But they're fairly cheap, so I just gotta pick up some more rollers. I'll probably throw on another coat. Um, you know, a quick coat, and uh, that's it. So, here it is. Hope you guys like it. But uh, this was the uh, Practical J headquarters right here. I'll probably get uh, painting in something right there that says Practical J, you know, make it official once I get everything uh, going. Once I get a desk for over here and uh, I get the floor done and stuff, I really want to get this carpet out of here. It's stained up, it's actually not like bad carpet it's uh you know still actually has a lot of life left to it but it's dirty it's stained up and i want to do some something different so i'll keep you guys posted